Good morning, William Jordan here, broadcasting live from downtown Newark, New Jersey. This is Conscious Raising Art Tuesday. That's Cosmic Concentration. And today we have a very interesting segment on concentration, something that you might find very, well, interesting, stimulating, and exciting. It's a good story, I'm going to tell you. But before I start, I just want to let you know that this Saturday, I will be at Branch Brook Park in Newark, New Jersey, with some of my art stuff. You can come by and check me out. We can chit-chat, get to know each other, and you can even maybe buy one or two. For example, I got this, this part of my new edition here. It's not quite finished yet. It'll be ready, hopefully, by the show. All right? How do you like that one, huh? Well, if you don't like it that way, we can do it this way. How about that, huh? All right. And I got this one over here. It's another nice one here. I saying something there, boy. Look at that. All right, so that's grooved out in there. All right, got that one. And then there's there's this 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 this, this one right here. It's always nice. That's a beautiful piece right there, my man. Okay. We got these beauties for you to come by on Saturday. Come on, check us out. But in the meantime, let's get back to the task at hand. What that is is it's a story about. Uh, a young man on a, learning how to ride a scooter. This past Saturday, I was in the park, in Branch Brook Park in Newark, and I was doing my work. I, I go there to sculpt pieces outside because, you know, there's no dust inside like I do them here in the studio. There's always dust. I don't want that. So I go outside. The weather's nice, beautiful day. And you know, I'm on my bench. It's a park bench. That's my special office. I go there on the park bench. I go there and I'm doing my thing, sanding and sanding, you know, these pieces have to be sanded. You know, they just don't pop up by themselves. You can see all types of little imperfections. See those? These have to be sanded out. Right? All that kind of stuff to be sanded out. So, <clears throat> I'm sanding, and every now and then, a basketball would come and hit my bench. And a young guy would come by, he might maybe seven or eight, and he'd say something, and he'd go back, he did this three or four times. And I said, hey, man, why are you coming over here bringing your basketball over here all the time, you know? Hit my bench. And he mumbled something and then went away. And he comes back with a scooter. Now he's in front of me. He's right, trying to ride the scooter. He takes three or four steps. He falls off the scooter. Doesn't know what he's doing. His parents are about, you know, 25 yards away. They're watching all this, right? So I said, look, man, let me, let me show you what to do. So I said, well, I'm going to hold the scooter for you. You get on the scooter, get your balance, right? And you get your balance, and that's how you have to navigate when you actually get on the scooter. You know, bend your knees a little bit. He was standing up straight. He did not know what to do. So this guy goes on and on and on. He's trying to, you know, he's up and down in front of me here, and he's trying to learn the scooter. He gets on, he goes, he falls off. He gets on, he goes up and falls off. But the thing is, he did not stop. As a matter of fact, he it, right where I'm sitting, there's it's the, the, the pathway, it's an incline. And it's pretty steep at the high part going down to the lower part where I was. He goes all the way up there, he gets on, he's flying, almost kills himself. I said, no, man, you can't do that yet. You gotta take it easy. What you wanna do is you can go up the hill with, you know, with having great balance, down the hill will be easy for you. But you have, to, you have to go up the hill. So he goes on and on. But in the meantime, another group of kids come, a young, two other young guys. And they try the scooter. And, you know, they go off, they go off the three of them go off somewhere. I don't know where they went. And they practice. But now the parents are ready to leave. And just before they get to my bench, what happens? The kid on the scooter comes flying by. Woo! Look at me! He was actually riding the scooter. Like he owned that sucker from day one. Now, why am I telling you this story? Besides, it's an interesting kitty story. I'm telling the story because throughout the whole process, this was fun for him. He did not consider it a task. It was joyful. It was a joyous experience for him. He would, even though he, he didn't succeed, he didn't give up. He kept trying. It was always fun. He was playing. Now, here's the, 
the tip of the day. What's the difference between play and work? In our context, what I'm trying to get across is this. If we approach what we do as play as opposed to work, we'd be more successful because it's fun. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what is it in our heads that has allowed us to, to turn something, you know, anything that we that we do, even if we don't like to do it, make it, instead of making it playful, we make it dreadful, we make it workful. Work has an onerous connotation to it. I gotta go to work. Why not, I gotta go to play? Isn't there a difference? Just think about it. It just sounds fun, right? Sounds a lot easier. And so what I'm saying is that one, um, when we use our concentration, let's think about it in terms of using it for something that's that we like to do. And that way, the concentration is going to be easier, and the thing that we're concentrating for will be a lot more fun, too, and we'll be happier people. You know, well, it's easier to, to, to be successful when you're having fun, when you're playing, as opposed to when you are working. Think about it, man. That's a four-letter word, brother. Work. <laughs> you know what that means, right? It's a four-letter word. Okay? F-O-R-K. Work. Yeah. You know, play. That's a word. P-L-A-Y. P-L-A-Y. That's a four-letter word, too. Hmm. So, you get a choice between four-letter words. Work and play. I like play. So today, I'm hitting you up like I'm playing with you. If we make a mistake, don't worry. Get back on the scooter and keep trying again. Just keep your enthusiasm up. Make it joyful. Don't make it heavy, heavy, heavy. Now, William, why am I saying that? Because I've been doing that. <laughs> All right, but now I want to make it light, light, light. So, today's Concentration Tuesday. That's my story today. Maybe it doesn't deal directly with concentration, but it's a great story. It's a great thing to think about. All right? Think about doing what you do as play, not as work. No matter what you're doing, even if you don't like your play, make it play. Because as soon as you make it play, it's all over. It's just fun. You can make anything fun. Yeah, just about anything. You know, if you're in the killing business, unless you like killing people, maybe that's not the truth. But anyway, that's what I'm saying today. Work versus play. What's your pleasure? Leisure. That's uh, William Jordan here today. Now, before I sign off, I want to let you know that you can go to ConsciousRaisingArt.co and check out my stuff there. I got a selection there for you in uh, moderately priced range stuff under the $200 mark just made for you. And then for you guys who really want to get deep into it with pieces like this, well, then you just hit me up and we'll talk about it. I don't gear prices on these items over in, 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 the, in the store. We have to talk about it. We have to talk about pieces. Why? Because these pieces require certain, they require instructions. My works, these sacred pieces, these are sacred. These are not just trophies you put in the wall. These guys have frequency vibrations that are meaningful to your spiritual development. That's no joke. I'm not saying that they're going to you know, if you take one of these, you're going to be a, a, a guru or a guy, you know, can meditate for six years. No, I'm just saying it'll take you in that direction because they vibrate at a frequency that is over, you know, you know, say, you know, this one here is, this one here is like, what, uh, 2,500, you know, uh, hertz or degrees of, of energy broadcasting from this piece. At least 25, maybe more, probably more. And again, you can see all that little the work that has to be done in here to make it correct. That's why these pieces are not just, you know, uh, like widgets. You know, these are not widgets. You, oh, it's nine ninety five. dollars that's, that's an insult to you and to the process because it's not a nine ninety five process. Right? Yeah, I'm going to tell you, it's not. Firstly, these are sacred images that were given to, given to me in a dream. I've been initiated into this process, all right? Uh, at the moment, you know, there are very few of us who do this, you know? You know, I've never seen it before. But very, I'm sure there's someone else out there doing it, but I haven't seen it yet. 
But anyway, this is unique. It's, and it's coming now because of the time we're in. Where we have fractionation, where we have a lot of ego tripping. Now, by I mean ego tripping, I mean we have, you know, a lot of fear, worry, doubt, depression. Everyone's suspicious of everybody. Oh my God, you know, I've given my phone number. They're, they're gonna get, a, get all my data. Oh my God, my data, my data. Well, that's cool, man, but you can't take data with you, all right? The Egyptians proved that. They didn't have data, but they had trinkets. They couldn't take the trinkets with them. And likewise, you can't take your data with you either. What you can take with you is your prepare, preparation for the next level in terms of spirituality. That's what I'm here to help you with. That's what we're going to have fun together with. And if you're a really good guy, I'm going to turn you on to a thing that we can have a little workshop. In that workshop, I'll show you how to craft one of these of your own. And that's powerful stuff. You know why? You know why this is powerful? Because once you craft your own, your, your, your energy, your aura, your integrity will change. I just read the other day, for example, that um, they're finding that artists who are, who are like, they study different things. They just don't study one thing. They might study painting, drawing, sculpture. They might study rock climbing. They might study underwater scuba diving. Whatever they do, they diversify their interests. Unlike a lot of people in business, particularly, who just do one thing. He says, you know, marketing, the beep the bop the beep the bar, sales, the beep the bop the beep the bar. You know, and I'm being generalized. I'm generalizing. I'm not trying to insult anyone, but this is how it works, right? And I'm just saying to you that when you come and work on our workshop, if you're a business person, uh, if you're a doctor, a lawyer, or whatever you are, or a person who keeps the house in tip-top shape, this will help you get a different view on life in addition to, you know, stimulating your spiritual development. Now, it's not, I'm not talking about religion here. Don't get excited. I'm not taking away from anybody's God. You know, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about your own spiritual development. Okay? So before I get too far deep into it, like I can, because I'm having fun with you, all right, I just want to say this. It's not by coincidence that you and I are having this conversation. Because somewhere in the stream of human consciousness, we agree to meet. And our purpose is to elevate the human consciousness. Because we recognized back then that there was some stuff going on that had to be corrected. My commitment in the contract, in the sacred contract, was this. My commitment was to craft these images. Your commitment was to help me do that. Support me. You know, buy some. Sell some. Refer me to people. That's your job. And perhaps together we can complete our sacred contract. All right? So until tomorrow, which is Cosmic Kitchen Day, this is Will I Am, Will I Am Jordan for Conscious Raising Art, saying happy trails to you. Peace out.